surprising. Um, I think, you know, we just didn't play Columbia basketball. And we know that. We know we didn't, you know, play the basketball that we can, um, which was, I guess, we, you could call surprising for us because, you know, we've been building our whole season, working on, you know, back to backs games like that. But we're just, we're going to take, we're going to learn from this weekend. And I feel like that's the best that we can do right now. Learn from that, get better, and we're going to see that team again, no doubt in my mind, and we'll be, we'll be ready. I mean, we are ready, um, but we'll, we'll make sure we'll play Columbia basketball when we do. Um, no, I, I don't want to put that on the fans. I mean, they're tremendous support. I mean, we've been asking them to come out all week, I think. Um, well, why we didn't play Columbia basketball, I think uh, we, we just took a little step away from Coach G's game plan. Um, not intentionally, but I think um, we just sped ourselves up and, you know, didn't play the way we wanted to and the way Coach G, we've been practicing all week. So um, I think it was more so we just need to come in with a better mindset next time, and I know we will. So I don't like to finish the game feeling like I didn't play hard, and that was a time where I was like, you know what, we just got to step it up. And I, I wish, I mean, I always wish you could go back after a loss and, like, play that way the whole game through. But like I said, stuff that we're learning going on is, like, Next time we see them, next time we play any team, I'm starting that way um, from tip to finish. So, I mean, props to our fans. They came out on their own as well. I mean, I may have misspoke saying that, you know, it's not like we were begging them to come out. They, they know who we are. They know the work that we put in and the, how we've been succeeding all, like, all, all season long to this point. So they just want to support something like this. And I know even after tonight, they're going to be back next home game supporting. You know, we, we have great fans. Win or lose, they're going to be there. We're losing a huge class next year, so um, we just want to play for each other. You know, we're never going to have this exact team ever again. You know, I'm, I'm still going to play for Columbia next year. It's still going to be a special year next year, but, you know, I'm never going to have, be able to play next to the, all this whole team again, and I want to do it for them. You know, I want to lay, die for loose balls and stuff for them. I don't want to end the season wishing that I could take back a game or even take back a second of a game, so. That's why this season has been so special, because I know the potential of this team with these exact ladies on this team. It's, it's something that you know, we're going to look back and just cherish for the rest of our lives. One lesson. Uh, um, I'd say, just to point out one of them, I mean, playing start to finish with the same intensity. I mean, don't get, I think sometimes we could start the game and kind of like, be like, okay, now that we got that out of our system, but I feel like next time, you know, we know what to expect from Princeton. We've been playing them for however long. So I think just coming out the gates, playing Columbia basketball from the jump, not waiting. Yeah, um, well, not, not how you wanted this to go, right? <laughs> um, I think we, we were just on our heels a little bit. I think the game um, for us, you know, the way we started, we missed a couple open layups, turned the ball over a couple times. You know, we started the way we wanted to, Hannah hitting a three, the way we drew it up. But um, when the game didn't go our way, I think we, we did fold a little bit there. And just with maybe the environment and maybe things getting to us a little bit. But, you know, I have no doubt we'll see them again. And I'm really looking forward to it. And that's the thing that we got to focus on right now. You know, we are an NCAA tournament team. I absolutely believe that with everything I have. Um, we just got to make sure that we stick to our game plan moving forward. You know, and that starts with next weekend. I, I think it's what I kind of said. Like, I just don't think that when adversity hit, we responded well, right? Missed layups, turnovers, um, simple defensive er rotation errors. I think that got under our skin a little bit in a way, and it was, like, irritable for our players. You know, for Jada and Caitlin to get in foul trouble in the first half, it was like almost like we, like, literally ran the game back from the Ivy League tournament. <laughs> so we just responded a little bit better in the third quarter, right? So it was um, – you know, just a game of, like, they knew they had to win this game. And I think that's, like, how they played, right? Um, and not that we didn't know that, you know. I think you go into every game the same way, but um, they had to win this game. And so, you know, we've earned that, right, from everybody. And for us, we just got to wear it better, you know, move forward, stick together, and stick to the game plan. It seemed like you were maybe calling more plays than you usually do from where mm -hmm. I was sitting. Am I right about that? And you were right. <laughs> Yeah, so one thing, you know, one big area that one Princeton's defensive holes are, is like middle attacks. And I was, we were trying to get our team to get down through the middle, through the shoot, just attacking more. 
And we were like half running plays and half not. I just don't think our like execution was as sharp as it needed to be. You know, get it's a really good defensive team. They're gonna be there on the catch. They're gonna take away your first look, and you just gotta get to the second look or the next layer of your offense. For a team like us that plays so fast, I mean, they were literally sitting at the three-point line every possession, right? The game was just so choppy. So in those moments, we got to be able to execute better and then get to the next thing, right? It's not maybe your first look, but your second or your third look. And I just didn't think we got to those second, third attacks as well as we needed to. Yeah, you know, she has had to keep her head in her decision-making, right? You know, you look at Caitlin, she was minus three on the game, which means every 30 minute and 40 seconds she was on the floor, it was a three-point game, right? So, like, to me for that player to get in foul trouble, who's such a huge focal point of what we do, it really can offset your team when you don't have a kid like Perry Page coming in, right? And so we needed Caitlin to be able to keep her head today, and I just felt like she, again, got rattled a little bit. But I have no, no doubt she's going to bounce back. You know, this is just the bump in the road for her. Um, but I do think that that messed with her decision-making a little bit. And just like some of those easy finishes that she had, you know, she got bumped around a little bit, was on the ground a lot more tonight. I think that just affected her overall. Yeah, you know, Perry's that first guard sub for us. She has been, right, for the last, I would say, probably month, a couple weeks. Um, you know, we're still waiting to a final answer, but, um, you know, right now we're just trying to keep her confident, keep her rested, and make sure that we can get the proper plan moving forward from a medical standpoint. But, yeah, I mean, it will affect us for sure. You know, we're going to have to dip a little bit deeper into the bench, shift some parts around, probably play a little bit bigger than we usually do, which is, is a fun problem to have, right? <laughs> um, but, you know, that's just something that we're going to have to adjust to this week. Yeah, you know, that's the thing we're, we're really asking a lot of Abby as a leader this year is to use her voice more and to speak up and bring her teammates along. I think we have a team of a lot of leaders, but we need, like, one leader of the team, if that makes sense, right? And I think Abby has the power, I've said this to her since day one, she has the power to inspire people with how she plays and how she works. Um, so for her, we just need her to start vocalizing that a little bit sooner. Um, so that's not in the third quarter when we're down 15 or 16, right, and trying to make a comeback against a great defensive team. Um, you know, and that's just the, that's the next layer of this team. You know, I know I've said it early. We're a really talented team, but we need more people to step up and take that ownership before the tip. Right, because when you're in the game, it's like so much is happening. It's back and forth, but we need those choices to be made in the locker room. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm proud of her for for the way she responded. But you know, we can't start the game that way against that team. Yeah, I mean that's the way, right? It's like you handle adversity, you handle failure as you handle success. And so for us, it's like not getting too high or too low, but being really honest with where we are right now. And what we need is we need our players to step up and take accountability. Um, you know, I thought we had a good game plan. It worked before, right? <laughs> and, um, you know, I think that the next step for our team is to understand how to fix those problems together and on the fly. I just thought we came on hinge today. So that just goes back to, like, doing the hard things every day together. Um, you know, it starts on Monday. It starts on Monday for us. Um, this is so valuable, right, for a team. Like, especially a team like us that doesn't – we haven't lost a game like this this year, right? So well, Iowa State was different because they just shot, like, a gazillion threes, I felt like, in our face. But <laughs> – um, and that's a top ten program, right? So for us to have this kind of unpacking to do is a gift, honestly. You know, um, I said this when we lost the pen, but it's like – I'm gonna write Mike a thank you note at the end of the season, much like I'll write Carla saying, thank you for showing us what we needed to work on at this point. You know, we got a lot of season left, and that's the most exciting thing about, you know, what Monday rolls around is like, we still got a bunch of teams we gotta play, and we're still in first place, which is if you lose two games like that, and you're, you know you weren't good, that's a good sign.